All right, Barista. Well, let's watch this video. Then uh, thereafter, we come back and uh, talk about it. Or we can talk about it as we go. No, it's a very, very short video anyway. So um, let's go. And running to be prime minister when you're a 42-year-old is by definition ambitious. <laughs> but I am ambitious, but for our country and for our party. I chose to become a Conservative MP to serve, and I chose this country because here I could breathe free and I could be everything that I wanted to be. I grew up in Nigeria, and I saw firsthand what happens when politicians are in it for themselves, when they use public money as their private piggy banks, when they promise the earth and pollute not just the air, but the whole political atmosphere with their failure to serve others. I saw what socialism means for millions. It's poverty and broken dreams. I came to Britain determined to make my way in a country where hard work and honest endeavor can take you anywhere. Okay, uh, Barista, do you know who who was that? Tell, tell me, Bedi Nadi, the leader of the Conservative yeah, Party. Okay, in the UK. all right. All right. So, yeah, for those of you who don't know, what the video you just watched now is um, Kemi uh, Badenok. Um, he's a she's a Nigerian, but a Nigerian uh, British uh, citizen. She is currently the um, leader of Conservative Party. And the implication of that means is that um, should the Conservative Party take leadership of of uh, the House of Commons? Is it Commons? No, not. Um, what do they call the National Assembly? The whole majority, um, majority in the Commons. She becomes the British Prime Minister in the Commons. Okay, yes, the House of Commons. Yeah, that's it. So if they mean the majority, automatically she becomes the Prime Minister of of uh, the U uh, of the UK. Um, so now. Uh, Barista, I, I, you understood everything. Now there are some other videos that came out so clear where she outrightly denied Nigeria, disowned, disowned Nigeria. Does not she doesn't want to have anything to do with Nigeria or Nigerians. She does not want to be identified as a Nigerian. As a Nigerian, she does not want to identify with Nigerians. Barista. This is when I watched this video, I was enraged. I was enraged because okay, let's read. Let me read uh, Senator Show Sani on tweet on on tweet on uh, X. He wrote, "No matter how much and how long an adopted child loves his new home and hates his ancestral home, there will come a day he or she will be reminded by his adopted home that he does not belong there." If African Americans are still reminded that they belong to Africa, a Nigerian singing, a Nigerian singing the colonial song in the UK, UK Parliament will not change his or her true identity. Barista, what is your take on this crazy, on this, on this lady, for God's sake? Is that we should not waste effort and time in courting um, the Kemi because it doesn't make sense. A person, and I refer to Abike Dabri, the chairperson of Nigerians in Diaspora, who said she had made several efforts to come close to Kemi. I don't and know she why has... she did that nonsense. Again, that I was is, going to talk about that. I was enraged when I watched her interview. That is why I said there was absolutely no need in the first place. The 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 thought should have come from her if she was interested in Nigeria. Remember, a lot of people have terrible experiences in Nigeria. A person came to Nigeria, a lady who was in the US, she was kidnapped with the husband and children and raped repeatedly in front of her husband and children. And by the time she was uh, hmm. released, she swore that she will never, ever have anything to leave Nigeria, her children, and anybody connected with her, that they will never, ever have anything to do with Nigeria. A lot of people have a lot of bad experiences in Nigeria. They have left, they have sworn they will never come back. Why that may be extreme? One should understand their feelings. 
if somebody has chosen, a Nigerian citizen has chosen to abandon his motherland, his fatherland, and embrace another country, give her 100% to that other country, we should let her be. I don't know why it is now an issue to go and begin to beg her, begin to try to court her, whatever. I do not think we need that. What you know, we need you know to they do. say you know the, what do you expect barista you know you know they say uh, wealth actually have so many friends or fame have so many of friends of course um, poverty so is an that's exactly so what is do you offer. expect correct uh, before yes. now even you know she was a cabinet secretary in the US and the UK before in the past immediate government of uh, okay uh, this other person so why she Sunak. was rising, uh, uh, Rishi Sunak, why she was rising within the British uh, political establishment, they kept quiet. They didn't uh, think she will reach that place. She will be what she is today. Suddenly they realized that, oh, a Nigerian is there that is doing well. Let's go and uh, meet him. That is not how things work. Let's make the country good for Nigerians. Let make the country proud for Nigerians to be proud not to even if they live and embrace another country to have found memories of Nigeria I do not know what has driven her to that extreme position so I do not want to judge her but no but she she mentioned it now it is not look her own situation her own story is not like that the one of that gory one the one and that, yes, the, yes, the other yes. story you told talked about mm. that's understandable her own story was understandable but this chemistry story for because our own the reason is just is the reason is just the same of what we have been discussing on this platform corruption that because exactly. nigeria, in nigeria is corrupt that the politicians it's are corrupt. corrupt they don't want to allow nigeria nigeria to succeed or whatever because of that it is only for god's sake is that not what we are doing? we all of all of us it. are diaspora the people that are that were diaspora if that so, is the, um, I, I don't if, understand why that should be. That reason is too flimsy to actually disown. Honestly, that lady is just full of herself. She's so proud and arrogant. That the, even though she looks decent, look responsible, or whatever. She's so she she sounds arrogant. She sounds proud. She just sounds. I, I don't get it. She she just sounds as someone that is just too full of herself. Oh, and we, on this platform, we have been bemoaning the corruption ineptitude in Nigeria. And we are trying to do something about it in our little way by bringing it to the, uh, way, to the attention the of people, by yes. sensitizing people, by suggesting solutions. This is what we are doing, even with this program. We continue to, uh, I say, government, we continue to criticize, it? bring it to the consciousness of Nigerians. So that things can improve. That is our contribution to fight against this. But to now say, okay, because there's corruption, I will just disown my fatherland, my birthplace, uh, crush them. It's not, uh, and, does not sit honestly, well. And, with and me the, at the, all. the most annoying, the most annoying thing is she mentioned, she mentioned she was, she just was, she just was so full of herself. She mentioned that, uh, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, let, let, let me hear. Let's, I, I, I need to watch this thing. It's one comment she made that, uh, that a kind of, she feels so magnified. Okay. I don't want to waste time on that video. She feels, she feels so magnified to have been in her position, uh, for in, uh, just at the age of 40, is it 41 or 42 or thereabout? 44, so 44. I, I don't get it. Can, did, did, did she did she not read did she not read about people who have ruled nations at 28 go one ruled nigeria at 28 king jong Un, they were not korea i think he was at 28 when he became the president of we have seen gaddafi became 28 years he was 28 years when he became president of uh, we have we have seen and heard and read about people presidents who were in their the, 20s the when they became president and this lady is just feeling so puffed up 
that she just she's just she's she she she, she at 40 to 40 something she she's she's she has become she has become she has gotten close to to being the prime minister of uh, the uk that girl is just that girl is just i call her girl is, because i i, I just awful. feel i just she feel is. disdain for her for for that for for for, for god's sake we all have the same experience whatever she's talking about we all have the same fear we're all living in diaspora yet we still have a lot to do with our country we are still going back home doing some stuff there for god's sake and we are in our own little way we are contributing on this this is part of our, our own we are contributing our own quota our own widow's mind to to actually do the correct the abnormalities in the in the in the country and here we here we are having someone who has, has is so privileged to be in a position that god has given to her uh, that would have been she that she could have used that same position to to influence influence the nigerian system use the british uh, uh, power to actually influence some policies in nigeria but instead she's just she's just decided to barricade herself between nigeria just barricade herself between nigeria and herself that is that is just this is just un, 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 unbelievable. Nigeria is supposed to, we are supposed to, honestly, we are supposed to lash at, out at, at her officially. This one, Abike, this is what Abike, Abike again, that, that woman is just shameless sometimes. Hey, so, um, the, the reality is, honestly, that is just, um, uh, that, that lady is just, is she just too full of herself. And uh, I, she, I just can't, I just can't bear, bear her presence, honestly. And uh, I, I hope, I still pray for, I hope, uh, I pray that uh, God favors her to become the Prime Minister, but that's her business. And besides, she has forgotten that the corruption that she's crying and lamenting about, we, of which uh, because of, uh, of which she disowned Nigeria for, for that purpose, the same corruption, the foundation of corruption in Nigeria is, 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 is the country that she's, she has become, she, has, she is, she, uh, she's presiding uh, over uh, one of the strongest, the strongest parties. The country she, that she is now a citizen of. Uh, they, they were the one who orchestrated the foundation of corruption in that country, in our country. And they are still orchestrating that. They are still piloting all this, what is happening in Nigeria. The West, and especially Britain, Eh? They are not. They are not exonerated. They should not. They even should not be exonerated from what is that because they have hand in with corruption going on in Nigeria. And look at this lady coming to lecture us of uh, corruption. Unbelievable. Yeah, um, she saw I that. Think, uh, Britain, just, I agree with you. Britain of is uh, the architect of Nigeria's uh, problems and Nigeria's decadence. But one reason that I believe the lady is behaving like that is. Uh, I believe that she thinks if she identifies with Nigeria, she will lose support. She will not be uh, casted well in Britain in her quest to become. Yeah, but that's prime selfishness minister. and mm. self self seeking. That's 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 a self seeking attitude and disloyalty. And that is what I even no matter the reason. No matter the reason for God's sake, you want to rise to power, so you have to. If, anyway, I I can understand that people want to rise to power; they have to do and undo some stuff or whatever. But again, that is why someone like me, I, like I said, I can never be a politician because I will always, I will always say it the way it is. I will always, you will always hear get it from me the way it is, the way I feel, and that is just the reality. That is one. That is one of the reasons I just hate politics and I hate politicians, and probably the reason why I don't even subscribe to democracy for Nigeria. It's working other places. Uh, it's working in other other climes. But Nigeria, no, we can't. So we can't survive it. It's too. It's too expensive for us. And besides, we are running it as if we are running the military administration, where where we don't have, we no longer have the separation of power. The entire the entire other arms of government are just uh, submissive, completely cowed to 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 to, to, the, to the executive. We are not running a democracy. Honestly. All right, barista. Um, thank you so much.